Living Seed Media brings to you God's Word, which is His comprehensive equipment for changing lives. May the Lord impact your heart as you encounter His Word. For further inquiry or counsel, contact Peace House, PO Box 971, Boko, Benue State, Nigeria. Telephone number 0703 0706359 0703 768198 Email address lsmedia at or visit our website at www.livingseed.org Let us sit back and listen as the servant of God brings forth the word of life. Father, we stand before you this morning. We're hearing your voice speaking all the way from heaven. Why are you the last to bring back the king? This morning we're praying. Set us on fire. Give us, O oh Lord, your unction. We ask that, Lord, you will release us in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, please undertake for us this morning that that which you redeemed us to make us we will not fall short of it. What you intend to make us, to use us for, we shall become it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus Christ's name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank God for this opportunity of pressing on in understanding the call of God on our lives. We thank God that He who is able to deliver has actually wrought a work of victory for us at the cross. And because of what he did at Calvary, we can have a voice for him in the land of the living. We may become his ambassadors among men. This morning, we are going to go ahead. We have been studying Second Samuel chapter 19. And we have been reading from verse 9 up to verse 14. And by yesterday, we were only able to look at verse 10. And this morning, I would like to go ahead from there. So I want you to turn now back to Second Samuel chapter 19 from verse 9. And I would like to take it from verse 9 and read up to verse 14. <laughs> And all the people that were, were at strife throughout all the tribes of Israel saying, The king saved us out of the hand of our enemies, and he delivered us out of the hand of the Philistines, and now he is fled out of the land for Absalom. <laughs> Lowo awon ota wa o si gba wa kuro lowo awon filistini ohun si wa sa kuro ni ilu nitori absalom and absalom who we anointed over us is dead in battle 
Now therefore, why speak ye not a word of bringing back the king? Absalom, ti a wa fi joba lori wa si kuli ogun nje ese ti a yin fi dake ti a yin ko si soro kan lati mu oba pada wa and king david sent to zadok and to abiathar the priest saying speak unto the elders of judah saying why are ye the last to bring the king back to his house seeing the speech of all israel has come to the king even to his house david yo ba si ran se sadoku ati si abiatari awon alufa pe so fun awon agba juda pe ese ti eyin fi keyin lati mu oba pada wa si ile re oro gbogbo israel si ti de odo oba ati ni ile re you are my brethren you are my bones and my flesh wherefore then are ye the last to bring back the king eyin ni ara mi eyin ni egungun mi ati en ara mi ese ti se ti eyin fi keyin lati mu oba pada wa and say ye to amasa are thou not of the bone of my bone and of my flesh go do so to me and more also if thou be not captain of the host before me continually in the room of Judah of Joab ki eyi ki o si wi fun amasa pe egungun ati ran ara mi ki iwo ise bi ki olorun ki o se be si mi ati ju be lo pelu bi iwo ko ba se o lori ogun niwaju mi titi ni ipo Joabu and he bowed the heart of all the men of Judah even as the heart of one man so that they sent this word unto the king return thou and all that servant ohun si ya ohun si yi okan gbogbo awon okunrin juda ani bi okan eniyan kan won si ran se si oba pe iwo pada ati gbogbo awon iran se re yesterday ni ana we spent quite a while looking at the absalom that we have anointed over our head ni ana alo apopopo akoko lati wo absalom eni eni ti a fi joba lori aye wa and we saw that inside absalom is the manifestation of the flesh that has become the enemy within us that will not allow him who died and rose again for us to actually take his place as is a case here yi pe ninu absalom yi la ti ri ifara han awon ise ran ara to ye ko nse lodi si oga wa to ye pe o ku lori gi agbelebu fun wa ti o si jidede fun wa we noted as a case that as long as the flesh is on the throne on any man's life ni won gba ti eran ra ba wa lori ite ninu aye eni keni the lord can only be in an exile oluwa ko si to le seju pe ko wa ni atiko lode lo as long as the flesh is in control of a man's life ni won gba ti eran ra ba je en tin se akoso lori aye eniyan kan e cannot be of any use to god ko le wulu arara ni iwaju olorun and unless the flesh is cut down ani as pe aya fi ti e pe a ba ge eran ara yen ta ge subu ta ge kuro the king cannot step back oba ko le rin ko wa po si ko re these are contrary one to another mejeji yi one load the si ara won but we noted that, that god has worked on our behalf olorun ti si se ni ha ti wa the absalom that we are anointed over us is dead in battle o so pe absalom ti a fi joba lori wa o ti ku ni oju ogun christ actually worked on our behalf as that lamb that took away the iniquity of us all christi o si se ni ha ti wa gaga bi odo agbutan yen ti apa ti o mu ese araye lo now this morning ni awuro yi i want to begin to look at the implication of the death of that our old man bo ba ma wo kin ni o tu mo si kin ni o wa ni pa pe eh eran ara wa ni ogologo ni o ti ku what should we therefore rise 
to do for the Lord. And the passage that we have been reading has raised a word. It said, now therefore, why not speak a word of bringing the king back? Now, therefore, why will you not speak a word to bring back the king? So this morning, I will start looking at the responsibility of the redeemed in bringing back the king. The responsibility of those of us who have experienced God's own salvation, God's own redemption, God's own forgiveness to bring back the king. The responsibility of restoring the glory and the power of God in our own time. Oju se tiwa ni me mu ogo ati agba Olorun pada wa ni akoko titi wa. Our responsibility in bringing back the king. Oju se wa ni me mu oba pada wa si kore. I would like now to take some few general passages as we begin to read together. Ma wa fe lati ka awon oro awon bi kan ni gbogbogbo I would like you to turn your Bibles to the book of Romans chapter 14. Romans 14. As we read these passages, we will continue to go on drawing issues as the law will permit us. Now look at chapter 14 of the book of Romans. And I want you to please read verse 7, verse 8, verse 9. For none of us live it to himself, and no man dies to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord. Nitori, be abawa laye, awa laye fun olua, be abasi ku, awa ku fun olua, nitori na, be awa wa laye, tabi be abaku, ti olua, ni awa yise. For to this end, for to this end, nitori die yi, Christ both died and rose and revived that he might be Lord, both of the dead and of the living. Nitori die yi na ni Christ se ku, ti o si tonje, ki o le je o luwa, ati o ku, ati alaye. None of us lives to himself. O si o kakani no wa, to wa alaye, fun arawa. None of us actually dies to himself. O si o kakani no wa, ti o ku fun arare. Whether we live, we live to the Lord. Whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live or we die, we are the Lord. Now, but that scripture says, it is to this end. It is for this particular purpose that Jesus Christ actually died that he went to Calvary and he was buried and he revived again so that he might be the Lord of both the living and the dead. When Jesus Christ went to Calvary to bring to an end our old nature, 
and to deliver us from the power of darkness. There is a purpose. The purpose is that those of us who now live, we will no longer live for ourselves. We will no longer be pursuing our own things. But that we might live to him. We might live for his purpose. Our responsibility for living now is to live for him. Who died and rose again for us. Second Corinthians chapter 5. I want you to follow me there. We might spend a bit of time in this passage this morning. Second Corinthians chapter 5. Please go there with me. Very and we will read particularly from verse 14. Second Corinthians from chapter five. And we'll read from verse fourteen. Verse fourteen. Can you read in Yoruba there? Yes. Thank you. For the love of Christ constrains us. The love of Christ leaves us no choice. The love of Christ compels us. The love of Christ will not allow us to think otherwise. Because we have come to a conclusion that if one died for all, then we are all dead. When Jesus Christ accepted to die, even though he knew no sin, even though the prince of this world came and found nothing in him, even though he could have gone to heaven gloriously like all the others left, but he just lost all but he agreed to taste death for us. He agreed to become that Ibaka that carried our old man to the place of crucifixion. Why did he do that? First we said, why we were yet sinners. Christ loved us. And he died for us. Why we did not know anything. Why we were yet ungodly. Why we were yet enemies in our mind. Why we were still running against the will of God. When we were injuring ourselves and we are getting injured. When we were drinking with the one who plans only to steal, to kill and to destroy. In our helplessness, Christ died for us. Christ went all the way to settle our case. The blood that he shed was the only means for our redemption. Nothing else could have taken away our, our sins and all the ordinances that were written against us. There was no other way we could be free. There's no other way we could be what we are today. If not because of the love of God. If not because he loved us, why we don't even know how to love him back? He loved us when we don't know anything about him. 
that love has brought us to an understanding. And it has brought us under a compulsion. That if one died for all, then all were dead. But now the question before us this morning, what is the purpose of his dying? Why did our Absalom, why did he get to be hanged on the tree? Why are we to be delivered from that tyranny? The Bible says, there's a purpose. And it is this purpose that must become our responsibility. I want you to Wait with me as we look at verse 15 together. So I will read again from verse 14 up to verse 15 so that we can first set an issue before we go ahead. For the love of Christ constrains us. Because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we are all dead. And in that he died for all, that they which live should Wait. not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Mm. Mm. And that he died, he died for all, so that they which live now those that have been redeemed now should not henceforth live unto themselves they should no longer live for themselves they should no longer exist for themselves. But unto him who for their sake died and rose again. Brothers and sisters, did you accept the death of Jesus Christ as a benefit for your deliverance? Let me see your hand. Have you have you benefited from the power of his resurrection that set you free from sin? I'm asking a question. Have you experienced the deliverance from the power of the devil at any time? All right. Now the Bible says, in that He died, in that He died for all of us, here, He died so that those of us who are now living, we will no longer live for ourselves. We will no longer live for our self-pleasure. We will no longer live for our own personal interest. We will no longer live for our own personal convenience. Does anybody have this version of the Bible, Living Bible, or Good News, or Message, would you like to stand and read for us? Yes. We, we are ruled by Christ, by the love of Christ. Now that we recognize that one man died for everyone, yes. which means that they share in his death. He died for all. He died for all. So that those who live 
that those who live should no longer live for themselves uh -huh. but only for him but only for him who died only for him who died who died and was raised to life for their sake for our sake he was raised to life NLT brother Christ's love control us since we believe that Christ died for all yes we also believe that we have all died to our old life. We have all died to our old life. We all know, we all believe that we have died to our old life. Yes. He died for everyone so that those who receive his new life will no longer live for themselves. Now, brother, please Instead, wait. Please Edro, wait. You Edro, are doing well. Edro. You are doing well. You will now pick it again. Pick it from that verse 15 again. He died. He died for everyone so that those who receive his new life will no longer live for themselves. Let me wait for you now before you go on. How many have received his new life? Let me see your hand. Up. You are very sure that you have received his new life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want you to listen to the word of God. Yes, sir. Instead, they will start again. Start again from that verse 15. He died for every everyone, so that those who receive his new life. So will. that those who receive his new life. I want you to Uh huh. We no longer live for themselves. We no longer live for themselves. Instead. They will live for Christ, who died and was raised for them. Instead, they will live for Christ, who died and was raised again for them. All those who have received his new life, all those who have received his Redemption. I want to take by a father. All those who have received his grace. I want to take by all your fair. All those who have benefited from his saving grace. We no longer live for themselves. But they will live only for him. What is the responsibility of what Christ did for us? It has become a responsibility for us. What is the object of Mwabai? No longer to live for self. Ah, oh God, oh God, for Arawama. No longer to live for personal ambition. Ah, oh God, oh God, for he left for Arawama. No longer to live for personal convenience. Ah, oh God, oh God, for he left for Arawama. No longer to live for personal projects. Ah, oh God, oh God, for he left for Arawama. All those who have received his new life. All those who have benefited from His grace. All those who have touched His glorious life. All those that have experienced redemption. All those that have experienced His forgiveness. They should no longer live for them. But for Him. For him, for him, who for their sake died and rose again. So when we go to that scripture in Second Samuel, and he began to say, Why? Why? Why are you the last? So speak a word of bringing back the king. Why? Why? Why are you doing like this? As if you have not benefited from my life. As if you have not benefited from my redemption. Why will you keep me on the outside? For your sake I died. For your sake I was buried. For your sake I was raised up. Why will you be the last? To speak the word for bringing me back. Why?
You know when he used the word wise? He was saying, Aren't you seeing your responsibility? He said, Go and tell Amasa. And I don't know who that Amasa is. It could be you. You know, every time I keep reading the Bible, and I find the Bible mentions some certain people. It used to touch my heart. Oh man, for God, I said, Oh God. I don't know how many millions of people have read the Bible. Me, my yeah, one million And they are going to say there was one Amasa. In the Bible. There was one man called Archippus in the Bible. That God particularly spoke his name. And I was wondering whether God will not be mentioning my name. Today, why are you? Why are you the last? Despite my grace. Despite my provision for you. Despite the opportunity I gave you. Despite all the privileges of my new life that you have experienced. Despite all the prayers I have answered for you. Despite all the battles I have fought and won on your behalf. Where I picked you out of confusion. Where I delivered you from what could have finished you long ago. You know, sometimes I keep feeling my indebtedness to the Lord. If not for the grace of God, I should not be here. I should not be alive. I should have been condemned. Who am I? Who bombed me? me? That anybody will hear my voice. I should not have gone to school. The demons gathered. And they were deciding my, my destiny. And if not God who, who confused them. They will have finished my situation. And I will not be anywhere. Was I not there? I saw my brother waste away. I saw my senior once waste away. Because the oracles are determined their own direction. But when he came to me, they said, all the Babalawos have gathered. They carried the okwele, they threw it everywhere. They broke the kola knot, it did not break. Then they began to ask again, what is the matter? What is Ifa saying about this boy? Only after a lot of effort, they said, the oracle said, he does not know what I was going to become. He does not know what I was going to be. So he does not know what I'm to do in life. That was why they let me alone. That was why I was not a herbalist today. That was why I had the opportunity of going to school at all. And I'm hearing God saying, Why are you the last? Despite all my grace on your life, 
Despite all that I've done for you, look at what will have killed you. Look at all the demons that will have chopped you. Look at all the powers that will have finished you. But I stood there. I fought for you. Why? Are you the last to speak the word of bringing back the king? Redemption has responsibility. Even though it is free, even though we cannot pay for it, but all those who have received this new life. They have a responsibility to live for him. To live only for him. To live only to glorify him. As I'm going up and down. The question in my life. When will I pay my debt? When will I settle my debt? When will I? To my dad. The Yoruba song I used to sing in those days, Anonymi I am a, I'm a daughter of, of mercy. My dad is so much. Oh God, give me grace. That I will not die a debtor. Those who have received his life, they are debtors. All that have received his mercy. They have become debtors of mercy. That you are walking up and down today. Because he went all the way. To die. That you might be saved. You might be saved. I don't know how many demons. No, my demon. He rebuked about me so for me. Me, to me. I don't know how many how many times me, my, yeah, Coco. they called con, con, confederacy upon confederacy. Audio Shoronga. How they made and made and made. How they were going to finish me. For he. But oh, who has something to do with it? He said, this one. You don't know what to do for him. Because I have need of him. How can I wake up now in life? And be running here and there. Forgetting that I was. Delivered for a purpose. This morning, those who have received this new life, I want to take by here your tongue. Those who have experienced His grace, I want to take all your fair. Those who have experienced His saving power, I want to take by Barai Balare. Those that He has delivered, I want to take to Sile. They have a responsibility of living. Not only for themselves anymore, but to live for him. Who for their sake died and rose again. The responsibility of our redemption to live for him. To live for him. To live for him. Before we will close in prayer this morning, I would like you to please spend a bit of time to think. 
What is your life all about now? What exactly are you living for? What is it that is the issue of your life? What exactly is the rational for your existence? I want us to take that scripture again. Where is the message reader that wants to read verse 14 and 15 very quickly before I go away? Our firm decision is to work Focus center. One man died for everyone. That puts everyone in the same boat. He included everyone in his death, so that everyone could also be included in his life. All right. A resurrection life, a far better life than people ever lived on their own. Yes. In that he died. Nipe Oku. He died for all. Oku Fungubuenia. And he died. Oku. For me, for me, for you, for all. so that you, you and me, we no longer live for the flesh. If we would do anything now, if it is not for him to be glorified, to be enthroned we are cheating him if we do anything else and it is not for him and unto him then you have robbed him. But I still wish to return to that verse. He said, And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves. But for him, who for their sake died, and rose again, before I come back to go on from that Bible verse, permit me to again refer you to other passages. Because this will be the basis of our own responsibility. When he said, why are you not speaking to bring back the king? It is because there is an expectation. When he called Amasa. He said, you, you are my bones. You are the flesh of my flesh. The life you are carrying is the life I put in you. Everything you are is what I have invested in you. All that people know you about now is what I put in you. So why are you the last to speak the word of bringing back the word? And I'm saying, oh God, let it not happen that you will be lamenting and say, even you believe like this. Despite all I did to make you who you are. That is so the order. 
Why are you the last? Why are you not at the forefront? Of bringing back the kingdom. What is it that has occupied you? What is it that you are, you are busy doing? What are you using my new life in you to do? Did I put that life in you to be running up and down with people? Those who have received his new life. Those that God has had mercy upon. I want to learn to see a new form. Those that God has shown His grace. I want to learn to see the fury of their hand. Those that God has taught His word. I want to learn to call new aurora. Those that have seen the mystery of the cross. I want to see the only the light here available. Those that have walked in the liberty of the grace and of the power of God. I want to see the only the light at the agbara the olorun. By all means, they have become debtors of grace. No wonder Paul said, I am a debtor. No wonder Paul said, Woe is me if I don't pray to God. For the dispensation of the gospel has been given to me. I have benefited too much from the word of God. I have been taught and trained in the truth of the word of God. I have been exposed to the things of God. Woe is me. If I preach not the Woe is me. If I went and sit down among ignorant people. Woe is me. If I behave as if God had not been good to me. Woe is me. If I go doing the kind of things that ignorant people are doing. This morning, I want to ask you, will you stand to take your responsibility? Will you stand to ask a question? Why is it that the king is still kept outside the gate when I'm alive? Why is it? What am I afraid about? For what do I want to live? If it is not for him. What am I going to what what am I what will I be relevant for? If it is not for him. This world is passing away. And everything there in it. What am I going to be relevant for? the world, to be relevant for? If it is of the world, if it is of the world, if it is and he has lost his own soul. What can a man give in exchange for his own soul? Can a man give in exchange for his own soul? What is it? That I will live for. And it will be meaningful to me when I get to eternity. What is it that I will live for? What is it that I will invest my own life on? In this world. That when the whole world will finish. I will not stand ashamed. And they say you. You have opportunity. But you wasted it. 
I showed mercy to you. What's that? But you took it for nothing. So God, I can, I say more. I showed you the grace of God. Most people of the Lord are. But you received the grace in vain. So God, God, you pay your balance. I connected you with people. Most, most, most. I put you where your life can be of help. But you wasted it. But you wasted it. I gave you opportunity. I gave you talent. With which you will be relevant for my glory. But you have wasted it. Why will you be the last to speak the word of bringing back the when it was for this reason that you were saved? It was for this reason. That I brought you to where I brought you. It was for so this reason. I gave you the promotion I gave you. It was for this reason. That I opened the door for your life. It is for this only reason. That I made you a professor. For this reason. I raised you up in your family. It was only for this reason that I gave you great opportunity. Why are you the last? Why are you sluggish? What are you spending your years for? What is it that you are gathering everything about for? Why are you the last? What are you considering? What is the matter in your heart? What is it that you are occupied with? We live can't in eternity. We live stand for you out there. What will your life be remembered? For? The first matter this morning is that. A responsibility will fall on your heart. I said, why did you call Amasa? He said, Why did you call You are the bone of my flesh. You are the flesh of my flesh. You have a stake in what I carry. And my life has been poured into it. Others may do anything they like. But not you. Others may be, may be, may, may, may misbehave. But not you. Not you. Who have experienced my grace. Not you. Whom I have preserved. Not you. Whom I have taught. Not you. Whom I have exposed. Not you. Others may do that. I may not worry them. But not you. Not you. Not you. I feel like crying to God this morning. Let me not be a disappointment to you. Let God not regret that it was me who chose. I'm looking at the whole of my family. 
Why did he give me the opportunity? Why did I stand out? Why was I not dead when others were dying? Why have he preserved my life? Why did God teach me all that he taught me? Why did he bring me into the discipleship experience? Some of you don't understand that God had mercy on me. He called me aside and showed me his word. When I had nobody to show me anything, when I had nobody to teach me anything, he called me aside. He said, if you follow me, I will help you. You are a worm, you are a worm. But I will make you a, 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 a threshing instrument. A colonial. And look at me today. Look, From nowhere. Why will God regret over my own life? Why will God say? And in Nigeria, I have raised a man there. I have raised somebody there. I gave him opportunity. I opened the heart of people to him. But look at what he has done. Why are you the Lord? Should they be crying of your name in the heavens? And say, look at this man. Who else will have brought deliverance to his people? Who else will have brought light to the people? Why are the people saying nobody is there? Nobody is there. Why is there? Why will heaven regret that it is me? Why will God say, I am not happy that it is him I chose. This morning, I'm going to give you space to call on God. This is not about looking left and right. This is not about comparing with somebody. If if nobody is here, you are here. If there's no one else, I am here. Some of you have been passed on for years, and heaven is saying, Why do you come by the ground? Why are you there? Is it so that you can get what to eat? I died for you. I left my glory for you. I put everything on the line for you. And the reason why I did is for those of you that now live. We no longer live for yourself. We no longer run up and down for yourself. But for him who died and rose again for you. Why are you the last? So speak a word of bringing by the king. Why are you the last, my brother? Why are you the last, my sister? Why are you the last? I'm asking you this morning, why are you the last? How many times will I call on you? How many times will I call on you? How many messages have you had? How many meetings have you gone? Why are you the last? Why are you the last? Why? Why? Take your time and pray. Take your time and call on God. 
take your time and speak to God for yourself this morning. All those who have received my new life, all those who have experienced my grace, all those who have experienced my deliverance, all those who have experienced my answer prayer, you have the responsibility. 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 Everyone must not regret over me. Take any position of prayer you want to take. Anyhow you want to pray this morning. Whatever you want to do. I'm not interested in anybody else. If nobody is here, you are here. If nobody is hearing, I am hearing God. I'm hearing people say Nigeria is bad, Nigeria is bad. When you are there, I put you in a secondary school where hundreds of students are, and they are going to hear. You did nothing about it. What is the reason why you are here? Ask a master for me this morning. Why are you the last? What are you existing for? What is your life all about? What is it all about? What are you talking about? What is it that you are talking about? How long are we going to be talking? We are calling you here. We are calling you there. We are calling you there. What is it all about? Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and talk to God for yourself this morning. In that he died. He died that those of us who now live. We no longer live past that. Oh, Moria Laba Shanda Bakondo Robo Saira. Heri Mama Sanda Bakondo Robo Shenda Bakaura Masaira. Rima Kato Yorobo Sanda Bakaura Masaira. Zibadia Zondo Robo Samba Raba Shiria. Riba Saila Bashinda Bakondo Robo Sai. Rama Tawya Bakondo Robo Sai. Rama Sai. Rama Sanda Yabakondo Robo Sanda Yabakara. Rama Sanda Yabakondo Robo Sai. Rama Sanda Yababa. Oriba Sanda Yabakondo Robo Sanda Raba Sai. Rama Shia. Rama Sanda Yabakondo Robo Sai. Remo Sai Yabakondo Robo Sai. Rama Sanda Yabakondo Robo Sanda Raba. Riba Sai. Riba Sai. Riba Sai. Riba Sanda Yabakondo Robo Sai. Rama Sanda Yababa. Rabatai, Rabatai, Ramazana Yabakoro.
Bashi, Mata Kiremu Samba Kanta Rebu Saiba Bashiria, O God, O God, Erima Sanda Rabashiria, O God, O God, Ekariala Basanda Rabashi, Rama Sanda Rabasanda Rabashiria, O Rubu Saila Bashiria, Rama Mama Mama Mama. Rama Sanda Yababa Kondo Robotai, Rama Sanda Yaba Kondo Robotai, Rama Sanda Rabashinda Rabasai, Rama Sanda Yaba Kondo Robotai, Ramu Sanda Rabashiba, Uri Arababa Sande Yerebosai, Yeki Araba Sanda Bakondo Robotenda Bakarama Sai. No, oh God, no, oh God, no, oh God, no, oh God, no, oh God. Oga, 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 Abbasino, Kusta le Bashiria. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, we are crying to God. Ebamika, Jeremiah 48, verse 10. And hear the word of the Lord. Abbo, Omolon, Jeremiah. Ori ike jidini a dota 48 and verse 10. Ati esa ike ware. Read it in Yoruba language. Jeremiah yes, ori ike jidini a dota esa ike ware. 48, yes. If ibu ni eni ti o se ise olu wani imele. If ibu si ni eni ti o da soda idare duro soda idare duro kuro ni nuwe je. Cause is he that do the work of the Lord deceitfully if, and cause me he that keep it back his sword from blood. How are you doing the work of the Lord? Are you sure this is the best you can do for God? Are you sure you are giving your best to the Lord? Are you giving him all your best? What you are doing now is in your bed. For whom are you reserving your life? For whom are you reserving your strength? That which you are keeping back. For whom are you keeping it? Where are you keeping it? What do you want to do with it? You are taking my new life. You have collected my grace. You have experienced my redemption. I have delivered you. I have fought for you. I have set you free. What will you do for me? Is this your best? Sister, is this your best? My brother, is this your best? Is this all you know how to do? Go ahead and pray this morning. Go ahead and pray this morning. Oluwa kanara mi la royi. Kanara mi la royi. Fire me this morning. Set me on fire, oh God. Set me on fire this morning. Set me on fire this morning. Deliver me from empty talk. Empty activity. Why am I the last? Why am I the last? Don't bring back the king. Go ahead, go ahead and tell God whatever you want this morning. Rabo shata yaba kundo robo skiba raba shit. Rama tau yaba kundo robo sai laba shit yaba kundo robo sai. Rima sai laba. Oh, go karaka tau yaba kaura. Rata yobo robo sanda ba kaura ba shit. Masya raba sanda ba kundo robo sai. Rima sai. Rima sanda ba kundo robo sai. Rama tau yaba kundo robo sai. Rama sai. Rama sanda yaba kundo robo sai. Oh God.
Oga bakiri alaba. Oro bo sada bakanda ya bakondo robo sai. Rama shanda bakoro bo sila. Rima sai. Yanta bakoro bo samba raba shire. Rima saila. Rima sada bakondo robo sai. Yanta kasai. Oga. 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 Arise and set me in motion, O oh Lord, the man of war. Arise and set me in motion, O oh Lord, the man of war. Ah, Nakababa Korea. Ababa kanda ya bakaura masai eri masai la ifibu ni fwaini na to faida le pada ninweje ah 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 oh god oh god oh god oh god Rabashi, <laughs> Rima Sai, Rima Sanda Bakundu Rubu Sai In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm asking you this morning. If this was to be the end of our journey. What is in your account? What is in your account? What will heaven report about you? Have you done all you can do? Will they say he has done all that he can do? What you have done now is that all that you can do? Is that all that your strength can do? When you are talking, 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 is that all God wants you to do? Are you putting the best that you know? Or you are just moving up and down. Souls of men are perishing. And and say, why are you the last to bring by the king? We are going to sing hymn number 10 in prayer. Take your hymn sheet. We are singing hymn number 10. If you are lying down before God or you are kneeling down in His presence, we are using the hymn to pray. I don't want a big organ here. We just sing it with that organ. 
me o fe ka luduru si akko lai luduru fading away like the stars of the morning a ko ja lo bi irawo wuro losing their light in the glorious sun o go wa yo wo nu osansan osansan osan gangan those who will pass on the earth in his toiling kuro ninu la la ye yi only remember by what we have how say na ti wa nipa won ti ati se fading away like the stars of the morning losing the light in the glory of soul those we will pass from the dark And his calling, oh, on every man, God I walk, we are born. Oh, every man, oh, every man, oh, on every man, God I walk, we are born.
dust would we pass from the end and its calling. Only remember that by what we are doing. Oh, when the Savior shall be copied. Rejoicing a one, then shall he weary and fed for disciples. All the remains are by what they have done. What are you doing? Only remains. What will you be remembered for? What are you working for? And for whom are you spending your precious life? Now that you are young and strong, who gets the benefit of your strength? Imagining that you have many years. I want Kanoi and Rokwe near Kolo Kodno see two of our brothers who are helping to plan for this meeting. I want making no water water one no is it to ye? They were running up and down to plan for it. One Sarika Kila I wanted to know to ye when we never expected. They have been caught. Ah, I think one and they have gone. What is the law by ye? They're on the other side looking at us now. What will you be remembered for my son? Why are you the last? To speak the word or bring him back the king? What is it that has occupied your life? This one minute or two minutes that remain, I want you to tell God, what will you do? What will you do? Why are you the last? You want to bring your life on the altar and say, God, take my life. You want to bring your life on the altar and say, God, take my life. What I have received from you will not be a waste. What I have invested in my life will not be a waste. I will not waste away with this world. Say, those who now live. Should no longer live unto themselves. But unto him who died and rose again for them. You may say, but I'm already a pastor. Are you are you doing your best? Are you not doing the pastoral work for salary? Is it not for food? How many souls have you added to the kingdom of God? How many villages have you stepped onto? How many lives have you confronted? What are you talking about? We are praying, we are praying. Talk to God. Before we conclude this morning. Would you like to make a commitment and say, God, 
If you will give me another chance If you will prolong my years Lord I want to serve your purpose I will no longer be the last to speak the word that bring back the king. I will not be the last to take my responsibility. Whether with children, whether it be young people, anywhere, I will not be the last. The money that comes to my hand is not for decoration, it's not for sale. Is to push your purpose. Lord, here am I. Here am I, Lord. Here am I, Lord. Here am I, Lord. Whatever you want to do this morning, whether you want to stand, whether you want to raise your hand, whether you want to kneel down, whether you want to talk to God from the depth of your heart, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Paul said, I confirm not with flesh and blood. Stop looking for flesh and blood to, to cancel you out of the will of God. Those who brought the king to bear in their own generation, they were men who jeopardized their lives. Are you standing or you are kneeling and you are saying, Lord, yes, my life. Yes, my life this morning. Yes, my life this morning. I must pay my debt before I go. I must pay my debt before I go. My debt to this generation, my debt to your people, my debt to young people. My debt to young people. Lord, I must pay my debt. Don't let me just die like this. Don't let me just waste away like this. I have cried for food, I've cried for raiment, I've cried for house. Lord, these are things I can take nowhere. I hand over my life to you. This. Oh, we see 
Whatever is going to take, we are going to give it, Lord. Either in living or in death. You are going to take the glory of our lives, O oh God. Either we are alive or we are dead. We are for you, O oh Lord. Lord, come and take the control of our lives. Oh, Romeo, Samia, Lemio, Tirani, Baba, Tirani, Baba, Tirani, Baba, Tirani, Baba, Tirani, Baba, Tirani, Baba, Yes, Lord
several of us in this hall this morning. It may not be that you are not doing at all. It may not be that you are not responding to the Lord at all. The challenge that is troubling my own heart this morning. Are you doing all? Are you giving your best? As I was hearing Amasa, 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 Amasa. I was hearing it in Yoruba. Yoruba. Amasa. We know, we know the need to. Any to mo to sa. And the one who knows and is running away. One who knows the truth. One who knows what he should do. And but is running from responsibility. What are you running away from? That's what I'm hearing God say to me this morning. What are you keeping back your blood, your, your sword from shedding blood from? What are you doing half-heartedly? What are you keeping your life to serve? What other thing are you keeping your life to serve? Can you respond to the Lord before we pray together? Oh, you are me, oh, need some more. Lord, I'm not going to run away again. Oh, you are me, oh, need some more. Lord, I'm not going to run away again. You are my bow, I'm your bow. Oh, need some more. I will not run away. I will not run from responsibility. Go on and talk to God this morning. Everywhere you have been dodging responsibility. Everywhere you have been keeping back your sword from shedding blood. God is bringing a charge against you this morning. He's bringing a charge against me this morning. I'm a star. Uh, you know, but you are running away. You know, but you are running away. What do you know and you are running away from? Let's talk to God quickly. Lord, I will not, not dodge my head again. I will not dodge responsibility again. I will not pretend that I do not know again. What my sword can slay, I will not pull back again. Bibeli ta ka yen o ni epe ni fun eni na ifi bu ni fun eni na the Bible that we read said, Woe is unto that man. Woe unto that man. Woe is unto that man. Lord, I don't want to come under a curse. I don't want to come under a curse. I don't want to come Mo fara mi fuwa Mo kuni tori re Kile ra opada Kile Mo fara mi fuwa Oh, 
Father, we thank you very much for this morning. Baba, I do come for our union. Our royal, we are guilty as charged. I get be better so. We are guilty as charged. I get be better for con as on kawa. If the whole land lies waste, ki lo boy le iba sebe. The whole of your river land is languishing. And we know what we know. We have received what we have received. We have tasted all you gave to us. And yet we have carried our lives to go and serve something else. We have hidden our life among the stuff. We have hidden our lives among our work. We have buried ourselves in society. We have buried our lives in ceremony. We have buried our lives in pursuing fashion. We have buried our lives in pursuing material things. And yet we know. And yet we have received mercy. And yet we have received deliverance. Many of us will have died many times over. But, but deliverance kept us alive. Grace kept us alive. Sicknesses are dealing with people all around us. I some we will get sick, but we get healed back. Accidents are finishing people around us. Many of us are escaping accidents. And even when we go through accidents, here we are. Here we are. Kept by your grace. Father, why are we the last in speaking about bringing back the king? Father, this morning, we are guilty as charged. Again, we will only ask for your mercy. Father, for everyone kneeling, standing, crying, weeping before you this morning. Have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus. The first mercy we are crying for this morning is that you will forgive us for our sloppiness in the name of Jesus. Forgive us for hiding in the name of Jesus. Forgive us for diverting your resources in the name of Jesus. Father, forgive us for diverting our lives. We have embezzled our life. Those who received the new life in Christ Jesus. I want to buy your Jesus. We were supposed to employ it in oh, yeah. living for Christ. Oh, yeah. But we have gone to live it for something else. We have diverted divine resources. 
for personal and worldly use. Lord, we have pursued our life. Father, forgive us in the name of Jesus. Lord, this morning again, we ask for another mercy. We have cried like this many times. Sometimes quietly in our room, you came with this challenge. And sometimes publicly you came with this challenge. We will cry, we will weep, but we will not go back to do what we are supposed to do. Father, this one must not be like that in the name of Jesus. This one must not go on record again as part of our death in the name of Jesus. Many people stood in the marketplace. They said, why, why have you not gone to do something in God's house? He said, no man has hired us. That has been the excuse of several of us for many years. We don't know what to do. Nobody gave us opportunity. Nobody called us. If nobody called us, have you not called us? Father, all the things you are spoken to us quietly. Father, push us into them in the name of Jesus. Father, instruct us afresh in the name of Jesus. All the deaths that are hanging on our neck. Father, as we go from here, begin to bring them back into our minds in the name of Jesus. Begin to remind us of all the things we have promised you in the name of Jesus. And Father, this solid, it must mark a new beginning in our lives. All those who sparked revival, they can trace it to a date. Let this day be our day in the name of Jesus. Let something new begin in the name of Jesus. Father, we beg of you. Don't let all of this be in vain. Don't let all of these programs be in vain. Let this spark a revival in our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Father, finally we are asking, us, as, asking you. Father, we are begging you. What to do from now on? Don't fail to show it to us in the name of Jesus. We are to pour our life. Don't fail to show us in the name of Jesus. We are to withdraw our lives from. Because there is no vacuum to in nature. When we refuse to do your work, Satan, the world system, ourselves, we give us something else to do. All the places we are supposed to withdraw our lives from, all the things we are supposed to turn our back to, in order to face your work, in order to face your call on our life, Father, show us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. We worship and exalt your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying.